Okay, so in this video I'm going to try and um, show just um, Node.js as a web server with some security stuff um, and a, um, hitting, a, a using readers as the store behind it. Um, you know, I just created a simple little website here and behind it is um, I've, I've used um, this thing called, of course I use my IDE um, WebStorm in this case and um, you'll see that I require I'm using Express as a framework I'm importing Helmet as um, to set my, my my headers I'll show that and then I'm using Readers as the store I've also made it HTTPS as you can see here that's the standard HTTPS stuff Express starts up by defining a HTTP and a HTTPS port one thing I learned here was um, to set my um, my fav icon or my favorite icon setting that um, um, the other thing um, I used helmet over here and um, that's over here somewhere to um, uh, um, uh, um, you know put security headers in and that kind of stuff then my session um, my cookie that I'm setting I am um, you know this is a uh, HTTP only and a secure and I'm making it a 10 minute timeout but my backend store is readers so um, if you use this um, the standard uh, uh, um, connect readers it does a pretty nice job if you go look at the reader store in the backend you know you just basically start it up and you know and you can see there's currently two sessions that is storing in there and um, if you were to um, uh, um, look at that specific session like um, if I wanted to uh, go look at that session uh, there, there you'll see there's the actual cookie that it's storing in readers and you can see that it's logged in false at the moment so and if I were to um, log in over here on the little website I created, you'll see that change. Um, other things of importance here is there's my route, the login and logout route is what I look at, and that's just where I'm starting the servers. So um, you know, if we go look at the actual implementation, I'm using crypto. Uh, for the username and password, here you can see I have an encrypt and a decrypt function. Um, and there, you know, there's a, a few, uh, um, uh, you know, functions or routes that I'm calling. Here's the main one, the login route. You can see that I'm looking if, you know, if you just call it, looking uh, to see if you can, um, if you even have sent in a username and a password. Of course, um, you know, it won't even allow you to, to do a, a get um, on login. The only thing I have defined is a post. So if you website and uh, uh, you wanted to do a login over there, you'll get a, you cannot do a login because um, you can only post to it. So that's, a, that's the first thing. And so it's gonna when you do the post, we can look for that, and then I'm gonna call readers, and I'm gonna get this user, and this is you'll see that here I'm decrypting the actual password. So um, if you were to go look at the user in here, I think I called it, um, I saved it in a little database test app user, and there's a verb in there. If I go look, that's what the password looks like in readers. So it's an encrypted password. You can't really read it. So um, you know, but if you wanted to log into the website, it would be viv, and that's it. It's actually logged in now. So if we go back to the code, you'll see that this code actually executed now. There you can see it's successfully logged in verve, and you know my ID, my specific session ID is that one that ends in C7 so um, if I go look at that there's a, se uh, um, a key then at the moment if I were to go look at that specific key 
you'll see that there's my cookie it expires in 10 minutes from now and we'll see when it's logged in true so uh, if I actually hit the log out there and I go look at the cookie again you'll see it's gone that session was actually killed um, and the reason for that is uh, and this is uh, another hard lesson that I learned um, when you hit log out I'm actually um, destroy the session but I also do a redirect instead of a render you'll see here even on login I do a redirect instead of a render and that is to stop somebody from hitting the back button you know if I hit the back button if you don't redirect they'll get to the actual you know uh, a page where they are logged in and the, and the session will be valid again now um, you'll see that that is only one session that's there what else um, I um, you know that, that that's the basic uh, stuff I've learned here that's important so um, you know it it's it's fairly straightforward there's nothing too much about this so um, oh yeah um, I'm currently running this from the IDE the other way I can run this is I installed a thing called forever um, and forever this uh, so if I um, if I look at forever uh, which is uh, uh, I did it with the npm install forever so um, so when I create this run.sh and I had to give this command so um, I'm saying run uh, uh, forever this uh, uh, start for me restart the process 500 times that's just some log outputs and um, you know if I see a process spinning meaning it's dying there's node applications dying restart it every 10 seconds and run this node app.js so forever is running really really nice so if I run this run.sh you'll actually see that it starts up now so if I tail minus f out the lock you can see that's the same as I had in the console and then I'm splitting my errors into my error.log and there's no errors at the moment so if I were to go into the application we'll see that it's working but let's say um, we, we go in here and we go kill our reader server and now all of a sudden you'll start seeing this guy uh, freaking out because um, you know node is falling over node doesn't work anymore and it's dead um, you'll see that forever in the background is um, trying to restart this event so I said wait 10 seconds restart it and uh, restart it up to 500 times so you'll see that that will continue to try and restart the, the, the guy and um, um, there it goes again trying to restart so here I'm gonna bring up my reader server again and uh, this guy is gonna wait uh, 10 seconds or so and it's going to retry and um, node is going to start up again so uh, there my websites come back online um, so my readers uh, uh, my node didn't die and go away it actually um, you know it recovered and and um, everything's fine so there, there we go um, using um, readers using node.js using forever to run it uh, you know to keep it up and, and to write to the logs and some HTTPS and some helmet stuff oh if you were to look in firebug you'll see that my headers are set for HTTP only and secure and I also set um, interesting things like um, uh, this and this is what helmet brings to me it brings the no sniff and the X frame and that kind of stuff all those security headers that was brought to me by um, installing Helmet OVM. Um, that's this this stuff that makes sure that um, those security headers are set. So um, yep, there it is, and um, thank you.